Hi there guys, uh, we're at the farm and uh, I've got a target out there, a steel plate. Um, I'm going to try my CZ22 uh, for a bit of long range shooting. I got a steel plate out to um, 200 yards and uh, I mean I know that's a little ambitious but uh, I just couldn't resist having a go. Right, I just want to find that target. Right, there she is. And uh, I want to give that a go. And see how far now I'm going to use my uh, ballistic app and uh, I've just put in the figures and so far it's telling me that we're at 24 MOA so I'm going to dial that in and just see if I can actually get on that steel in the first few shots so bear with me Now there's hardly any wind at all, so that shouldn't be too much of a factor, hopefully. So, all we've got zero. That's ten. I'll give it 24.1. Let's see if we can uh, how far we're out. Nope, we're not there yet. Just pause that minute, there, guys. Well, I just managed to get one on the uh, on the actual target, and um, it, it was off camera because I was just uh, trying to sort of zero in on it. But I'm going to try and take a few more shots and see if I can uh, get back on target. I think there's a little bit of uh, left wind, even though I can barely feel it. But I think it's obviously magnified with the uh, with the distance. So let's have a go. Load that magazine up. I'm not going to uh, adjust over to the left yet. Um, just see if I can shoot that three sort of shot group there, get it up on the steel. Though my ballistics was uh, was telling me that it was um, like 24 m away, it actually comes out at uh, at 23 m away instead of 24 m away, and that's just hitting on that right hand side of that steel. But take another shot. I 
one's a miss. Okay. All right, so I'm going to try and dial a bit of left windage. I'll give it about a minute of left wind, see where we are with that. Look and try and get more into the uh, into the centre. And that's a lovely central shot there. No, you probably can't make that out. But um, I will go down to the uh, the target. It's no good putting the too much digital zoom on because you'll uh, it'll end up just distorting it and everything else. So I'll um, towards the end I'll I'll show you the groups when I get down there. So just bear with me. And got to load up magazine. Oh, I missed. Nice. Okay, well, I'm pretty happy with that, and uh, like I said, I'll um, I'll go down to the target so you can have a better look at that, and I'll just zoom back in so you can make sure that I'm shooting at that 200 yard mark. There's your 200 yards, and um, like I say, I'm going to go down to the uh, target now, and. Uh, Take a bit more close look. I didn't bring the uh, second camera, or my brother wasn't with me today. And uh, but uh, we'll go have a quick look at that. So bear with me. Okay. Uh, so here we are, down the target. As you can see there. I mean, this is where I was hitting first on that right hand side. And uh, then start getting to the centre here. 
and this is the uh, central group. Uh, sort of one up a bit high up there, or a couple. But otherwise, 200 yards. I'm, I'm more than happy at that actually. Yeah. I'm going to turn the target round now and uh, have a crack on that other side. Bear with me. Well, as you can see there, got the uh, steel turned around and I'll uh, go back up to the top and uh, do a bit more shooting, so bear with me. Okay, back up at the bench and uh, I've got that target turned round now and uh, going to uh, take a few more shots on the other side of the group, uh, sorry, the other side of the uh, steel and see how we go. Wind's just slightly picking up a little bit and we'll just see if we're uh, where we were a few minutes ago. Bear with me. Oh, it seems to have hit low there. Not sure why. Hmm. I'm still hitting low. So unless there's a bit of downward pressure. wind uh, it seemed to be hitting the outside of that uh, on the outer edge of that steel plate so definitely the wind has picked up down there. Let's give it another, another minute. one reason we're not doing as good on the back side of that steel but you've got to persevere well we've definitely got about Probably a couple of miles an hour wind now, I think. No.
Okay, that was high and right. Let's take that down to 21. Oh, sorry, 23. Okay, that's just uh, right of the middle, right hand side of the middle. Okay, well, not too bad, but they're still still slightly going over to that right hand side. I, mean, I just can't quite tell if um, just that little bit of wind change is just still sending them over to the right. Let's take a few more shots. better. Okay, I'll stop that there, and uh, I'll show you down at the target uh, where the groups are. Like I said, most of them did end up going to towards the right, um, but I'll, um, I want to try and see if I can uh, put a few cans of pop out there and uh, see if I have a chance at try and hit hit one or two of those. So just bear with me. All right, here we are at the. Uh, the target, as you can see there, they, they were primarily all going over to the uh, to the right hand side. I mean, walk down here now, and it's uh, it's definitely sort of coming over this left side. Uh, finally, managed to sort of get the uh, slightly over to the left, um, but not quite as central as I wanted them. But uh, I'm going to go back up now, and down at the bottom here, as if I can see them, I've got a couple of cans set up. And uh, hopefully we'll try and hit those and see how we go. See back up at the top. Okay, back up at the bench. And uh, as you can see, I, I put those cans out there where the target was. I'm going to try and uh, try and hit them. I think you can see them on the uh, on the video there. We'll give it a go.
I'm not sure how far I'm out. Oh, and I can't get them. Come on. Oh, got it. In the fourth shot. Can we get this one within that five shot group? Come on. Five in. <laughs> no, come on. Got it. Beautiful. Well, it took me uh, extra shots than I wanted, really, but uh, I'm quite happy with that. 200 yards, tin cans, a pop. Try on that steel. Well, I'm really happy with that. That's a good bit of fun. Hope you enjoyed that. And I'll, uh, I'll just zoom back out there. And uh, just show you the rifle I was using. My trusty 2 2. As you've seen there in, the other, in my other videos. Um, love this little rifle. I mean, that's not bad con uh, considering it's that barrel length. It's 14 inch barrel. But perfect for nighttime hunting and even daytime as well. But uh, great for fun. Hope you enjoyed it. Cheers.